Not every star becomes a black hole at the end of its life? No, it's something like the sun. When it collapses, that creates what's called a white dwarf star. So, so you can have a blob of matter. They're about the size of the Earth, but they're about the mass of the sun. But if you go even bigger, it collapses and collapses and collapses, and that's when you get a black hole. There's a supermassive black hole at the center of every galaxy. Yeah. yeah but really. there's also other black holes. Yeah, so these little ones, but a few times the mass of the sun, and they're from collapsed stars. So they are stars at the end of their life, bigger than the sun, more massive than the sun. But they run out of their fuel and they start to collapse because gravity squashes them. And if they're sufficiently massive, then there's nothing that can stop the collapse. And so they collapse, as far as we know, to a point, essentially an infinitely dense point. We don't know what happens right in the middle. But they collapse to such an extent, light can't escape. So nothing can escape. That's a black hole.